Hey guys, this is Stacy from eatthebite.com, and today I'm making a delicious coconut tofu with crushed pineapple and broccolini. Let me show you how to make it. I'm going to start by beating a couple of eggs and then transferring them to a wider bowl as part of my dredging station. Next, I put some coconut flakes in a bowl for the dredging station as well, and I'll set that aside for now. You'll need to finely dice some garlic for this, so first I slice it thin and then I dice it down finer from there. I put that garlic, some olive oil, and two small bunches of broccolini in a pan, and I'm going to set that aside on the stove while I do some other prep work. I'm using two blocks of tofu, and it's pretty wet, so I usually wrap the blocks in paper towel, and I try to dry it out a little bit. Just press gently on the paper towel to absorb some of that moisture. Next, we'll cut it into five large rectangles. Then we're going to slice it into triangle shapes from there, and you'll do this with both blocks of tofu. Once all the triangles are cut, we'll dip it in the egg to fully coat, and then we'll dredge it in the coconut. Tofu is delicate, so be gentle here, and make sure the coconut is covering the whole piece. You can press lightly, as you see here, until all of the coconut is covering the tofu. Then we're going to set that aside on a sheet pan or a large plate. Continue this process until all the tofu triangles are prepared. I keep the coconut flakes on hand so I can add more to the bowl as needed throughout the process. And here's one of my sheet pans filled with tofu. I've heated some canola oil in a pan for a shallow fry, which means we'll cook the tofu on one side and turn it over as opposed to submerging it in the oil. I've got my broccolini, olive oil, and garlic cooking as well, and I'll give that a good toss and then I'll put the cover on. After the tofu is fried for three to four minutes, it's time to turn the pieces. I used a pair of tongs and a small spoon for this. Again, tofu is delicate, and using only the tongs can result in the tofu breaking in half. Use a spoon to help gently turn the tofu to the other side, where you'll let it cook another three to four minutes until golden brown. I added a splash of water to my broccolini, and I'm giving it a mix around the pan. Then I'll put the lid back on. In between cooking the batches of tofu, I like to remove any coconut flakes from the oil so they don't burn. Then same drill as before. Cook for a few minutes on both sides until golden brown, and then place the cooked tofu on a paper towel lined sheet pan. I'm getting my platter of food ready, and I love topping the tofu with crushed pineapple. Just put some in a ramekin and everyone can serve themselves. And let's take a look at that delicious platter of vegetarian food. And now, it's time to eat the bite. If you are a lover of tofu and coconut, you are going to love this light meal option. I love eating this with broccolini and basmati rice, and that crushed pineapple really complements the flavor well. And don't forget, this makes a great lunch option as well. Just put some basmati rice and tofu in a container with some broccolini, and don't forget a little container for the crushed pineapple. I highly recommend you give this one a try, and I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as I do. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, all the blog posts and printable recipes are available on my website at eatthebite.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.